The cabin is adequate, seats are firm yet comfortable, and there's even a healthy amount of storage space for gear. The Aero-inspired interior is very similar to the SLS with materials that are every bit as nice despite a significant price disparity. It's not the most ergonomically pleasing space, however, as you have to reach almost behind you to use the shifter, and there's no comfortable way to rest your arm when using the touchpad command controller. But at least there is a dedicated park button, unlike BMW M cars. Traditional coupe doors surely help keep those prices in check and aid getting in and out, while they also allow for a very modern panorama roof Behind the wheel, you still find the classic feel of SL Coupes of yore. While not all are enamored with the look of the GTS, a little too much 928 911 in the rear, we all agree it's elegantly stunning and every bit what you expect from a premium product with a Mercedes heritage. There's definitely lots of hood stretching out in front of the driver, accompanied by a minimal cabin bump and Euro-styled hatchback rear. And despite some familiar back-end notes, there are plenty of elements such as the high-fashion grille, hood and fender venting, and active rear wing to draw your eyes elsewhere. In straight-line work, the 3,600-pound GTS nails a 0-60 to 60 of just 3.5 seconds. Launch mode is easy and reliable, the turbos wind up instantly, tires hook up just as quickly, and off you go smoothly, but in a real hurry. Here, shifts are typical AMG DCT brutal, and you get snapped and pulled to the end of the quarter mile in 11.5 seconds with a speedometer needle pointing at 126 miles per hour. 108 feet stops from 60 were the norm, though the clumsy feeling long travel pedal felt like it belongs more in an SUV than in a performance car. But the GTS will even stop itself if you neglect to do so. Government fuel economy ratings are 16 city, 22 highway, and 18 combined. Not bad at all for a car with this much performance. Our heavy-footed drivers could only manage 15.3 miles per gallon of premium. GTS pricing begins at $130,825, some 90 grand less than the SLS and a supercar bargain. An even lower priced GT arrives next spring with about 50 less horsepower and a fewer go fast goodies. Second acts are often where plots thicken and things start to really get interesting. And that's certainly the case here with the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS. AMG is branching out, making the performance story a lot more their own. And we'll surely stay tuned for act three, or should we say C63.